love upon me. Therefore, and it's, it's a few parts cut out, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22 says, In all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Mark 11, verse 24 says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And John chapter 16, verse 23 and 24 says, And in that day you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These are by no means all of the scriptures on the subject of prayer, but these scriptures alone are enough to set our hearts on fire. They're enough to start us praying. Why? Because else should I say to us, I will answer. The Almighty God, the one who is more than enough, has promised to answer those who set their love on him. Confession. Thank you, Lord. I have set my love upon Almighty God. Therefore, he answers me. Hallelujah. I call upon him and he answers me. I ask and he gives me. I seek and he causes me to find. I knock and he opens it to me. What things soever I desire. When I pray, I believe that I receive them. And God causes me to have them. Whatever I ask in Jesus' name. Almighty God gives me. My joy is full. Everlasting joy. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for just being God. We thank you for being our all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowing, all-seeing God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of all the sins we've committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Lord, we ask that you give us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Stir up your Holy Spirit within us, God. So as we go forth this day, December the 4th of 2018, that we can walk the way you want us to walk, that we live the way you want us to live, that we represent you and the kingdom, God, regardless as to where we are, what job we have, our status, what car we drive, Lord, even the amount of education or the way we use our words, the words we know to use or don't know. God, let us walk the way you want us to walk. God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, First Lady Emma Brown. So we thank you for her legacy. We thank you for how she's been a blessing to all of the ministries she's been associated with and been a woman standing in faith walking in love, just being a matriarch, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting her be a strong woman to teach other women of the faith that they don't have to be scared or so shy to where they don't speak the word, to where they stand up boldly knowing they are queen. And God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for Reverend Brown. And Lord, we ask that you touch his family, Lord. Touch Grady White Stone. Touch Mount Vernon and all the other churches, Lord. Touch their family, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Comfort them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you for what's about to come out of their lives and out of her legacy. Lord, we ask that you touch the Orange Mound youth football team and had the accident yesterday with one child passing. Lord, we ask that you touch all of those children, Lord, 
Lord, touch their heart, Lord, so that they can have peace. Help them to heal. Lord, help them to heal. And Lord, touch all of the children throughout the world, Lord. Touch all of the children that are in these um, football teams and sports and even our children, those of us on the line whose children are in different activities when they travel to and from them. Lord, keep them strong, Lord. Keep them in your hands. Commission your angels on their behalf, God. Allow the people that work with them, Lord, allow them to be working under your anointing, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, us is telling so that we know where to allow our children to 